Hey guys, in this video we will revise for the ML200 exam how we can add and modify chart elements. Before we start, I encourage you as always to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any new training content and now let's begin. So here's the chart from the previous lesson showcasing the average monthly temperatures in country 1 and country 2 and we will play with the chart elements. You can see all the available options firstly here, so we can see chart elements, and you can uh, check or uncheck the elements that you want to display, or we will go to chart design, and here are basically the same options, and we'll go through all of them. So firstly, we can uh, show or close the horizontal and vertical axis, like that. And you will always have the more option where you can uh, specify the formatting in a greater detail. Then we have axis titles. So, for example, in this chart we might add the primary vertical axis title. We have to click it and then uh, perhaps write temperatures in Celsius. Perfect. Then we can also add the horizontal axis title that says months. We can also add chart title, which we already have, so you can choose to have it above chart or centered overlay or choose more, let's say, title positions. To edit this title, again, we click here and simply start typing something. So firstly, select the text and then perhaps choose Okay, so I will copy this text and paste it also into the chart title. Perfect. We can also add data labels, so the exact, let's say, data points into our graph, and we can add them, for example, to be outside end. So now we can always see outside of the column the exact number. We can also add, for example, data tables. So again, all of the table data, for example, below the chart, like that. Also, we can, for example, choose to have more grid lines like this primary minor vertical grid line. So make sure that before the exam you go through all of these options. We can also, and we should, add a legend that basically describes what the two distinct colors mean. So we can add the legend in the bottom that says country 1 is blue and country 2 is orange. And we, can, we could also add a linear trend line, for example, or like moving average for country one, like that. So yeah, guys, make sure to always keep your <laughs> charts simple, but in the exam you will have everything clearly specified, so make sure you are comfortable with all of these options. Don't forget that you always have the more option. And also an interesting thing to do is that you might be asked to choose a quick layout. So for example, apply quick layout five to the graph. And that is a preset combination of specific chart elements. So here you can see that if we add this layout five, we have chart title, data table, 
vertical axis title, vertical axis and major, major grid lines displayed. So yeah guys, that is all for today. I hope you find it useful. If so, smash that like button and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.